guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing um, kind of one of my most requested videos. I did a few homeware hauls not too long ago and you guys seem to really, really like them. I seem to get really high amount of views. So recently I have been collecting stuff um, over the past sort of two months or so and I thought I would share them with you as you seem to like these videos. Right guys, okay, so one of the places I first went to was home base and I got a couple of things. I actually had 20% off every single thing in store on that weekend and I, I wanted to pick up obviously a couple of bits when I was there because we were painting the living room. So while I was there I sort of picked up some homework and one thing was just one of these like hurricane um, glass, candle glass holders and it came with the candle included and it was something like £4 something in the end with the discount, absolutely brilliant. And what I want to do um, during um, winter is get some cinnamon sticks and just boss, put them all around the bottom and rest the candle on top of it, obviously take it out of its plastic. Um, and I just think that'll have a really, really lovely autumn -y look to it. Next thing I got was a candle and th these are like originally £4 something, so I only got it for what, 3 40 And this was the rhubarb crumble scented candle. Now. I don't know how good these candles are, I don't know what the throw out's like, I don't know how well they burn, but it was really, really big and for like £3.40, um, £3.20, sorry, oh my mouth, say, eh? um, I thought why not give it a go. And it smells nice and rhubarb crumble's quite a wintry kind of dessert, so I picked up one of those. This next thing, oh, this next thing I have wanted one of these for so, so long. And I just think it looked lovely. And when I saw that it had 20% off, obviously, I got really excited. And it's just this white stag head. And I've had this for quite a while now, because these were one of the first things I brought a couple of months ago. So I'm not sure if it's still going to be in store or not, but you can always have a little look online. Um, but it was 9 99 and then I got the 20% off of it. And I want to stack this on some books on my book on the bookshelves in the living room. I didn't get anything else from home base, apart from obviously paint, but something that I went into, there was this um kind of like budget store that's really, really close to it. So I went in and thought, oh, I've never been in one of these, so I'll have a look. But when I went in and had a look, I found this clock for 5 99 and I really wanted one of these in the kitchen that was white but with Roman numerals on it. And a lot of them I kept seeing didn't have the Roman numerals, it was the actual letters. But for 5 99 for the size of the clock, I just thought it was really, really nice. So I couldn't pass that up at all. And I just thought, I hope it just doesn't tick too loud. That's the only thing. But um, 5 99 it only requires one AA battery as well. It's a bargain. My next couple of things are from Sainsbury's. And um, I've been wanting to get some new picture frames. I'm sort of getting a bit sick of the picture frames that we've got. And one of the ones I saw, it's actually quite heavy, is one of these. And um, I just thought it was £8 if I remember rightly. It's got a really, really gorgeous pattern all the way around it. And it's really, really heavy. And I just really liked this. And I thought it would be nice to put it on the bookshelf. Um, and kind of update the ones I've got because I've kind of got mirror affected ones but I want to get away from the mirror look because I think they show up if you've got dust and everything a bit more and I just thought this was really pretty so I got one of those. Next thing from Sainsbury's is something I've always always wanted and I realised I had enough nectar points because I always get my fuel from Sainsbury's and so does Dan and we've got like a little, our little joint nectar card so our points have been racking up quite good and one thing I've always wanted is like a mini um, cake stand but with a lid because a lot of them don't come with lids and I saw this, it was £10, I don't know if they're still doing it, this was about a month or so ago, but they probably will do. Um, and I just thought, how lovely is that if we get like a little Christmas cake and we can pop that in on the kitchen? I thought it would just look really, really lovely and it didn't feel like it cost anything because it was done with the nectar points. So, and it's all handmade as well, but I thought that was really lovely. Something that we've already got, um, which you might have seen on my Instagram quite a while ago, was that I bought an apothecary jar quite a long time ago and I filled it with potpourri. But I really wanted another one that was a slightly different shape and the one we've already got, I have got my Instagram link down below if you want to check it out and it's kind of like a real Ernie kind of um, bend but I wanted a really really straight one and what I want to do at Christmas is to fill this one with um, candy canes in it because I think it'll look really nice and oh the lid's coming off, we've got a, um, where we live there's quite a lot of independent little boutiques and things and if I can get it open and the one that I previously got was from one of those boutiques and then the same place brought out another one this is about 20 22 pounds something like this but it is quite a big one and I just want to absolutely fill it up with stacks of candy canes at Christmas I think it'll look really really nice and I love the, I'm good, I really like all these sort of glass 
um, cake stands and things and I just think it looks really really lovely and so many of them obviously have got different shapes but the other one is that, that I've got is a little bit smaller so next to it I think will look really really lovely and I was so excited it was the only one they had in store and I was debating about it and Dan said oh I'm gonna get out of the shop it's a bit hot he walked out and I was like oh I'm just gonna buy it and as I came out he was laughing because he said I knew you wouldn't be able to walk out without it but um, I'm so pleased with it I absolutely love it and I can't wait to fill it the next place I went was Ikea and um, I went there yesterday which to you guys now would be a couple of days ago um, and when I go to work I get so excited about going and I got some really really random things but they're things that I've really wanted to get from there and one of them well two of them is these really opaque um, they call them mugs now to me they're like American soda glasses but um, they're opaque and white and I just think you know with hot chocolates and lots of whipped cream and marshmallows on the top they're really lovely they were only £1.70 each I got two because I just don't really see that there's ever going to be four people drinking out of them but also whenever you need a really big glass and you feel really thirsty little ones just aren't enough so I thought you can always use these obviously for squashes and things but yeah so I got these and I love them so much they've also got them in like a really baby pink if you want it, if you're interested in that colour this is also a little bit funny because I don't really ever do the washing up Dan does the washing up we've kind of got different jobs we do around the house and our kitchen is um, a white and green kind of like silvery theme and I got one of these um, scrubbers for him. Um, and it was, I think they're like 80, 90 piece, something like that. I just grabbed one when I was at the till. And they're really good because they just, they've got a sucker at the bottom. So they'll just suck to the side and stand. So it's really good so you don't rest them and they get all damp. Once we moved in, we actually had some um, glasses that my granddad gave us. And they were just some, a box of Asda Smart Price ones, which I showed in one of my hauls. I can't, I have a previous homeware hauls. I'll have them both linked down below if you do want to see them. But we've broken a couple of the glasses since then and when I was in Ikea I thought oh you know I need to pick up some more so I picked up these ones and I just really like them I like how they're kind of a bit bulbousy at the bottom and they were £1.25 each I've picked up four um, but I just think they're really nice and they look so much nicer that like more expensive than £1.25 and they're a little bit more solid and I just really like them so I picked up four of these then the next thing that I got is I've got um, a basil plant in the kitchen and at the moment I've just put it on like a little dish and it just looks really really messy and I love basil because I think it smells lovely as soon as you touch it on your fingers I feel like you're in Italy and I really needed a pot so I picked up one of these but this this is actually a cutlery pot is what they said but I'm going to take this off because it's really simple it'll just slide straight off but um, I'm then going to put the plant in this so I really wanted one of these and it was only £2 and this kind of goes with our kitchen theme and then also saw in the candle section um, was one of these like gold star print candle holders I think it was like £2 and um, I had to pick up a candle obviously to fit in there and I just got one of the vanilla ones which smells amazing because they just drop straight in and I was thinking vanilla is a good all year round scent candle so I know that they had some other designs of these so I might go back and pick up some other ones that are more generic and uh, the last two things I got were some of these um, white boxes that they have I'll see if you can see the picture just there um, or you can see my light in there as well reflecting um, and I got the kind of They've got four sizes, I haven't got the giant ones, I got the next one um, down from that, so kind of the large ones, not the extra large ones, and then you've got like the medium ones and then smaller ones, and these are kind of like the more medium size. Um, they're the 21 by 26 by 15, and what I want to do is I'm going to stack one of these little ones on top of one of these on the bottom of our shelving, because I've got some black ones and they from when I lived back home and they just don't match at all with the living room so I really wanted to get more of the white ones because um, it will just go and then I can ditch the black ones and they're also kind of falling apart and losing their shape but these are so cheap these were like three pounds something for the two boxes and I swear these were like two pounds something literally all that stuff I got in Ikea it came to like 20 pound which is I think it's just amazing but that's all of my homeware stuff I've got recently I hope you guys enjoyed it it's probably a little bit random but now that we've got quite a lot of stuff already for the house we're just buying little bits just to um, kind of add to everything that we've got really so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you'd like to see more homeware videos because I know a lot of you liked my moving out experience video as well I'm trying to think of more um, kind of homey videos to do for you that's not just homeware 
Um, so if any of you guys have got any more suggestions or you've got any questions you want me to answer to do with moving out, then leave them down below and I'll try and do another video related to that. But give it a video, give this video a thumbs up, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.